Rumors of January 6th, literally hours, you began to hear that day described as a deadly insurrection, Please. not described by one news outlet or one politician, but in unison by all of them. It was like it was coordinated. A deadly insurrection. That's how history may record January 6th. But the tape that we review from within the building on that day proves it was neither an insurrection nor deadly. Here it is. January 6th, when an estimated 2,000 rioters breached the Capitol building, causing the deaths of five police officers. Certain dates echo throughout history. December 7th, 1941. Full of crap. 11th, 2001. And January My opinion. 6th. The mob beat officers with anything they had on them. Hockey stick, flagpole, a fire extinguisher. Police officers died. Donald Trump supporters who, of course, rioted and killed police officers. By the evening of January 6th, the Democratic Party and its publicists and the national news media had settled on a description of what had happened that day. They distilled an enormous number of highly complex events, events that even now we don't fully understand, into a single emotionally related political slogan, which they've repeated for years with remarkable discipline. January 6th, they said, was a deadly insurrection. There was a deadly insurrection that the right wing is trying to cover up. Yeah, I hate that, dude. Incited a deadly insurrection. She's full, all of them are full trap. Literally liars. A deadly insurrection. Everything about that phrase is a lie. They are all lies. Six was organized or violent. Surveillance video from Evil inside people. the Capitol shows mostly peaceful chaos. But the slogan worked. The term deadly carries enormous emotional power, which is why they used it. To prove the insurrection was deadly, propagandists pointed to the death of an officer called Brian Sicknick. Okay, I don't have enough time. And... Brian Sicknick, that's what they said.